Welcome to this webinar of IMT Atlantique, where in the next 30 minutes or so, you will hear about the program they have to offer in management production, logistics, and procurement. So IMT Atlantique is one of the leading French graduate engineering schools, and you will hear why in uh, this uh, webinar. So you joined to hear about this program. And before I go to the presenters, let me briefly explain to you how this works because you are watching a recorded version of this webinar and that doesn't mean that you cannot interact because you can actually ask questions. How does that work? There is a little panel called Q&A, so you can click on that panel and write your questions there. These questions will obviously not be answered live, but they will be sent to the university right away by email so they can get in touch with you. So we encourage you to ask any questions that you may have, although we also have a Q&A section in the end. So do also watch that, and maybe some of those questions will already be answered in this session. Second of all, you also see a little resource list on your right hand. So there it says resources, and it has different brochures to the program, to the school, and also some useful links for you to, for example, the admissions page, where you can see how you can apply, and also to the, um, to the university website. So also we encourage you to check that out later. Because first of all, of course, you want to hear from the presenters about this program and uh, see if it's interesting to you for, for your career. So I'm going to introduce you to the presenters. And first of all, we have with us Lauriane Blandel. Good morning, bonjour. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining, Lauriane. And Lauriane is the head of international office. And as we briefly saw, we have two gentlemen uh, as well with her. So one on the, our left, on your right, is Nali Rakoto. Hello, Nali. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks for joining. So Nali is a doctor um, in, and the program coordinator of this program. And also on our right and uh, Laurian's left, we have Arjun, the alumni of the program. Yes. Thanks Hello. for joining. Hello. Bonjour. Hello. Thanks for joining as well. And we will hear from you later. So without further ado, as you obviously didn't join to hear from me, but from the presenters, I will um, leave it over to you, Lauriane, and start with the presentation. Sure, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, to start with just a few details about the school, um, IMT Atlantic is a French graduate engineering school offering uh, graduate and postgraduate programs in the fields of digital technology, energy, and the environment, as our ultimate goal is to train high-level experts um, in, the f in these fields and who will be able to tackle tomorrow's challenges. Um, IMT Atlantic is located, as you can see, on the, fresh, uh, the French uh, West Coast, hence the name of the school. And it has three campuses in the cities of Brest, Nantes, and Rennes. These cities are actually very student-friendly cities. Um, why? Because, first of all, uh, the, the cost of living uh, in these cities is pretty low compared to other cities in France, uh, which uh, is uh, very appreciated by students who are on a budget. Um, then, because there is a very uh, dynamic cultural and nightlife, and also a very green and healthy environment. Um, also, there is a lot of um, uh, companies, big, or smaller in the region, uh, offering a lot of job opportunities uh, to, uh, to, to the students. And uh, finally, there are international airports in each one of these cities, making it easy for students to travel. Um, also, what you have to bear in mind is that IMT Atlantic is a member of uh, the IMT group, Institut Min Telecom. Uh, which is actually the biggest, the largest group of engineering and management schools in France. So um, being a graduate from IMT Atlantic also means uh, being an alumni from Institut Min Telecom Group, giving you tremendous, um, a tremendous network. And now, uh, yes, I want to show you a short presentation video giving you key figures about IMT Atlantic. Let me 
let's launch the video. Very nice. So um, I also wanted to, to talk to you about international rankings, uh, because as you might know, IMT Atlantic is listed in, the, in some of the most prominent international rankings and therefore recognized as a technological university. Um, we are also recognized as one of the 10 best French engineering schools, thanks to our world-class professors, our research activities, but also thanks to our awesome students and programs. And talking about programs, um, we offer a variety of graduate and postgraduate programs. Some of them are taught in French or in English or in both languages. And I really encourage you to check out our website for more details, uh, because today we'll focus uh, mainly on one of our international masters of science, our uh, master's program in industrial engineering in management of production, logistics, and procurement. But I'm now going to give the floor to my uh, colleague Nali, who, and also to Arjun, of course, who will give you details about the structure of the program, the contents, and also uh, the outcomes of the program. Okay, thank you, Loria, for uh, <coughs> this introduction. Uh, so uh, I will talk about, uh, about the uh, this master program, this master uh, in um, MPLB, where I am the uh, program coordinator. So, so this program is given in four semesters and uh, three academic semesters and uh, one six-month master thesis which will be done in, in, in a company or in a research lab. So um, a specific point is made uh, because uh, during this master's thesis, the student is paid by the company. So this is a good point for, for the students. Uh, after that, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the program is structured, is, uh, structured in, uh, in, in, in these four semesters. So the first semester is uh, dev dev devoted to a fundamental of supply chains plus management courses. Second semester is uh, devoted to uh, industrial engineering optimization plus management courses. And the third semester is uh, uh, devoted to uh, advanced optimization plus management uh, uh, courses. So you can see that there are technical uh, courses plus management courses, and this is what this is the advantage of, of uh, this is the advantage of our, our uh, program compared to uh, other existing programs that we have technical courses and also management courses and this is a plus for our program and the first uh, the last semester is a master thesis as I, I have already said six months in a company or research lab where the students are paid okay so uh, there are during the uh, program there are there are some uh, company visits visits that are organized uh, in order to witness the uh, real application of supply chain or logistics in industry so here in the slides uh, you can find uh, a company visit which has been done in the uh, airbus plant in toulouse where the uh, uh, where the uh, planes are uh, assembled in the final uh, at the final line, and uh, we have visited all the lines here in in in, 
in uh, Airbus Toulouse with the students and the students of, of course can interact with the people and uh, in order to, to ask for a uh, uh, possible uh, uh, internships in, in this company, for example. And actually, Arjun is on the picture right here. <laughs> I think here. Yeah. Maybe Arjun, you can say a few words about like this company visits or your classes in general. Uh, yeah, it was uh, really good. We visited not uh, all the plants of Airbus. Uh, the one is in North and uh, Saint Nazaire, and as well the Toulouse. And uh, it, it was really um, motivating us towards the company to work forward. And it was really good. The visit uh, the, uh, was really good. And it was well organized by the our professor. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, you, Arun. Uh, next thing is uh, about the, um, uh, the uh, master thesis. So this master thesis, <clears throat> uh, it has to be noticed that the students are helped to find the master thesis. Uh, some people uh, uh, help them to, to find the, this uh, subject and to find the companies. And the uh, master thesis can be uh, done in France or in Europe or in the home, home country. So these are, these, there are some examples here. Uh, Elf in Gabon uh, did uh, her master thesis in France. Um, uh, Tan from Vietnam did his master thesis in uh, Schneider in France. And uh, Novan from Indonesia, he did his master thesis in his home country in Indonesia. Uh, finally, uh, uh, Sohab did his master thesis in uh, France and uh, uh, Diana also in, in France too. So the good point is these are six month um, experience internship where the students are paid. And this is a, a very good experience to put in their CV so that they, uh, it, it's a professional experience for, for the students. And even sometimes at the end of the internship, students get a job proposal and stay and actually work in the company. Because once you graduate from a, a French a school or a French university, you get a visa extension. And so you are allowed at least to uh, work in France for at least one year. And maybe, Adrian, you want to talk about uh, your internship because you're about to start your, 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 your master thesis internship. Yeah. So here, as uh, Madame told, like I'm going to start my internship uh, from March. And uh, in, in, obviously, it's an Airbus Toulouse. And uh, I'm so happy about it. Uh, after completing my internship, uh, it's like uh, uh, I have an op opportunity as as well. I'm from India. I have the extension of visa for especially from APS. It's two years. Uh, like we can renew the visa twice, like one year for once and next again for one year, especially for India. It depends on the company. The visa extension is completely is like depends on the country where uh, they come from. Uh, and uh, I found it is a wonderful opportunity for me. Uh, got internship in uh, world's leading uh, in flight manufacturing industry. Uh, so, yeah. Um, how did you manage to find an internship? Did you find it yourself or did you uh, did yeah. you get help from someone here at IMT Atlantic? Exactly. So, yeah, I would like to uh, thank for the university as well. Uh, I, uh, they helped me uh, to do uh, the CV and as well uh, some of the uh, uh, cover letters and they they guided me towards uh, finding a good internship and uh, I started applying in some job uh, um, portals as well directly uh, in the websites of the company and that's how it was my journey and uh, it took me at least two months of uh, two months or three months of time to find the internship and it's really good and it's nice very nice thank you okay uh... Now the objective of the, uh, the, uh, this master is uh, to have an advanced training in personal research and decision making. I will not read all these objectives, but uh, one point that uh, I would like uh, uh, to focus on is that uh, this program is a nice balance between technical courses uh, focused on supply chain and logistics and uh, management courses. And the, the nice balance between the two types of, of courses is our, our originality. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, the same program in some business schools uh, are not, uh, cannot be compared with our program because we have more advanced technical courses. And uh, for purely technical uh, courses, uh, universities, 
they are they have less management courses. So for us, this is our uh, I would say uh, this is our uh, advantage to have this nice balance between uh, technical courses and management courses. Yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, the career op opportunities uh, the. Uh, Students after this master, they can uh, work in uh, different uh, areas in supply chain or logistics. They can be um, they can be a manager. They can be project manager, consultant, or expert in optimizations. And uh, after the master, some students choose to continue to PhD and uh, to to do research in in. Uh, research lab or in a university. It's actually great because since they, they completed their master's degree with us, they know the professors and they already have their own network. They understand how research works in France. So it's also a good opportunity for students who want to complete a PhD to start with a master's degree here and then like to continue with PhD. Okay. And uh, now for uh, the prerequisite uh, uh, to apply now, to apply for the uh, for this master, uh, the students need to have a, a bachelor of science in uh, engineering, bachelor of science. Um, so the ideal uh, degree is a bachelor of science in industrial engineering. This is the ideal one. But other students uh, uh, holding a bachelor a BS in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, applied mathematics, and so on, also can apply. And uh, I encourage them to, to apply. Uh, but uh, the ideal one is industrial engineering, but also mechanical, electrical, applied mathematics are so accepted. Um, here you can see in the, um, in the, uh, uh, the slide uh, the uh, uh, minimum level of, uh, of uh, English certificate in order to apply, because all, this, all the uh, courses are given in English. Even though there are some uh, specific courses for French language and culture, because the students will live in France, so it's normal to learn a little bit French. But all the other courses are totally in English. Maybe admission in a master too. Okay, uh, most of the students apply for the first year, but uh, with some exception, some students are allow uh, allowed to. Uh, to apply directly to the second year, uh, and uh, these students can apply only if they have uh, already started a first year uh, of master in industrial engineering. But most of the students will apply in in the in the first year with a bachelor of science um, degree. Um, we were talking about like French language courses. Arjun, yeah. maybe can you say a few words about that? Do you speak French a little bit right now? How do you do you feel about that? Yes. Uh, before coming here, I, I had a, a, a A2 level of uh, French and I prepared myself to speak a little bit. And after coming here, really, a, a, a school offered a nice uh, French courses every week and trained us very well. And now uh, my level is like uh, B1 and appropriate to the B1. No, now I can speak French as well as I can understand. So it's good. Very nice. So this is very important because uh, uh, even though uh, the students uh, may, uh, uh, may uh, uh, make an uh, internship in, uh, in uh, English speaking country or in uh, in France, but in uh, English or inter international companies, uh, when they do the in if they do the internship in France, they need to speak French for with workers in the camp in the company and so. So the uh, one the thing that we say that if you want to uh, if the students want to do this their internship in France, they need to learn French, no, not as affluent but a, a minimum French in order to interact with. The, Workers in in the um, in the company where they, they will do the uh, master's thesis or, or internship. Yeah. Also, we offer a French summer school. Uh, it's actually a four-week intensive French language program uh, in August during the summer, and it's open to international students, of course, who want to learn French before starting their classes um, in September. So. Bear in mind that you will be able to participate in the program if you're interested and if you want to learn French before starting your classes. Um, 
Yeah, maybe now a few words, Arjun, about your experience in Nantes, the city of Nantes. Uh, um, how are you feeling in Nantes? Uh, can you say a few uh, words about that? Yeah, uh, for me personally, I like the city and it's very peaceful. Uh, and uh, I love traveling in that sense. I have uh, I've traveled a lot in the city and it's really good. People are good. And uh, uh, and the location of the university is really good. I love this uh, uh, stay here in the university and uh, it's really very calm. Uh, yeah. So you're staying on campus, right? Yes, on campus. Well. Okay, so this is very convenient for yes. you as you. Very nice. Um, Okay, so now uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about application and, and registration process. Application is very easy. Um, uh, applications are open from October to May, uh, and it's completely free, meaning that there is no application fee. So my best advice is for you to apply. Um, and once again, it's very easy. It's a step-by-step -step process. So first of all, of course, you need to get all your documents ready. Uh, application documents are the basic documents like a CV in English, of course, your university transcript, a copy of your bachelor degree, a copy of your English test results. Um, however, if you took your university your university courses in English, a letter from your home university explaining that your classes were taught in English is fine, is enough, and you don't need to submit English test results. You also need to provide us with two reference letters, either from the academia or from the industrial world. What's really important here is that the people who write the reference letters, they need to know you, of course, and they need to really support your application. And last but not least, you need to submit um, a motivation letter, a uh, very important document. Spend some time on your motivation letter and try to explain why you're choosing IMT Atlantic, why you're choosing the MPLP program, and how the MPLP program will help you meet your professional goals. Very important. Then you just have to upload all your documents on, on our online platform um, and submit your application. And we also give you the opportunity to record an online interview. It's not mandatory. It's just a plus for you to express your motivation like in the motivation letter. Um, and then your application will be assessed by um, IMT Atlantic and NALI. Um, and uh, you will receive a reply within four to six weeks by email. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you can get the result, of course, and eventually your admission letter. And from then on, you can start looking for financial support and you can start doing all the paperwork for your visa. Uh, and it can take some time. So really, once again, we recommend that you apply as soon as possible. Um, so this was the application process. Uh, regarding registration, so registration is confirmed once we receive the payment of the three student fees of the first year. So full price for one year for the MPLP program is 12,000 euros per year. However, good news, tuition fee wa waivers are available. Depending on various criteria, you might be elig eligible for tuition fee waivers. So once again, all the, the details about uh, prices and tuition fee waivers are listed on our websites. Um, but bear in mind that uh, the final price applicable to your case will be uh, mentioned on your admission letter. That's why apply now and um, uh,